A new UK Prime Minister has, of course, just been appointed. I congratulate Liz Truss and wish her well. Our political differences are significant, but as with the previous three Prime Ministers, I will work hard to establish a good working relationship. I have today written to the new Prime Minister renewing my request for an emergency Four Nations Summit on the cost crisis. I have also reaffirmed the actions the Scottish Government is asking the UK Government to take without delay. First, it must cancel the October rise in the energy price cap and freeze energy prices at the current level. Second, this freeze must be applied to businesses and to the public and third sectors. That is essential to stop an avalanche of business bankruptcies and job losses and to prevent essential services being squeezed by the cost of heating schools, hospitals and other public and community buildings. The UK Government must increase the budgets of devolved governments or grant us greater powers to borrow so that we can do more to help public services and workers. Finally, Presiding Officer, if reports that Liz Trust is considering an energy price freeze are accurate, this is welcome. But the cost must not simply fall on consumers over the longer term. Criticism of workers and trade unions fighting for higher pay is deeply misplaced. That is why to the Tories threatening to roll back on protections for workers and restrict the right to strike, and to Labour, who last month voted at COSLA to block a bigger pay rise for council workers, I say this. Our job in the midst of a cost crisis is not to press down on pay. Our job is to boost it with every penny we can lay our hands on. And that is the approach this government will take.